When you turn the key, you should hear the alarms. Davenport firefighters are used to being out on area rivers, but not like this. District Chief Paul Hartman, training engineer Scott Osowski, and Captain Lance Van Fossen on the department's new rescue boat. Both used to being called out on the water, called out to probably go on 30 to 40 calls a season. These firefighters on the river when no one else would be looking for something or someone in the water. And I remember going out in a thunderstorm one night in the dark, winds blowing about 40 miles an hour in the river. The waves were, you know, six foot high and we're out floating around that river. He tells us this boat will be safer for rescue crews at 30 feet long. Yeah, you can't sink the boat. It is bigger and more stable than the flat bottom boat in house now. And crews say a drop down front gate means they won't have to pull someone in over the boat's side. That I can drop that into the water. Pull a victim up on it and then it has the capacity to lift the victim and the rescuer up to a flat level. That one of two reasons firefighters like this boat. We wanted this boat specifically for floods where we had low water situations where we could go in. We can run right up to buildings and take people out of. And he says if there are buildings on fire, crews can't get you by truck. They can still get water on them. The engine not only moves the boat, it also powers the pumping system, able to spray 2,500 gallons a minute or supply water to another rig when there isn't a hydrant nearby. It, it, it is a big deal. Huh?